was forecast to be raining quite a lot right now, but it's not yeah, raining, so yeah, thankfully yeah, it hadn't yeah, rained anyway so far. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm back at a place that I visited about a month or so ago, um, but the rain came in, so I decided not to photograph it. And it's called the Beira Bowl. And it's a fantastic rock formation. It's completely in a curve, more or less in the shape of a bowl. Now, I'm here at completely the wrong time. You need high tide and you need a very, very high tide because the water can come up as far as here and there's a great photograph to be taken with the water spilling over the lip of the bowl but right now I'm here uh, not long after low tide so tide is starting to come back in yes but there's very little swells as well but I really don't mind because as always it's good to get out it's good to experiment with the camera it's good to find different locations again so that I know that when the conditions are right I can come back here I'm still on my a uh, couple of days of a tour. I'm still on the end of day one actually, so I'm here now for sunset. So we have a half an hour until uh, sunset. There's not going to be much colour, I don't think, in the sky, and I have felt a couple of specks of rain as well. It was forecast to be raining quite a lot right now, but it's not raining, so thankfully it hadn't rained anyway so far. But I don't think I say I'm going to get much colour, but what I am going to do is get a bit of mood and get a bit of a dark, dark image here with the water that's moving below me as well. I'm going to take a couple of different types of photographs. I'm going to take some long exposures, smooth out all that water. I'm going to take a half a second exposure to be able to keep the momentum in the water. And I'm going to play around as well with framing of the shot because you have got this on either side and then it's looking over onto the headland across the way, but it's hazy, you know, so there's not much to be able to see there. So it's really going to be mood, but I have to be conscious that I don't want to blow out the sky because I want to try and keep some detail as well within that sky. So I'm going to take a couple of test shots anyway here. Once I've got one, I'll talk to you again and let you know what my settings are and what I'm doing to nail the shot. But yeah, brilliant location. Wrong time, of course, but hey, I'm sure I'm still going to be able to get a shot nonetheless. It's a bit of a pain in the backside trying to do long exposures in the rain, but I think I kind of uh, jinxed myself saying it was supposed to rain, but yeah, don't ever say it's supposed to rain when it's not raining, because guess what? It will rain. But yeah, there's the image there now on that one here. So yeah, that's perfectly exposed then. And again, cover it right back up again and then dry out that water. So yeah, I've always said bad conditions don't exist, and that is true. And even right now in the rain, this is still absolutely beautiful. So. I've done my long exposure, I'm going to change now and I'm going to do some quick exposures, half a second, and try and capture the movement and wait for a big wave that comes through here. And uh, yeah, we'll see what that shot then as well looks like next.
So one advantage of the rain, besides it getting on the lens, is that it's making the rocks wet. So I'm getting a nice sheen off the rocks, which ordinarily wouldn't be there if it was dry. No, the sheen is coming off me as well. I'm absolutely soaked, but that's fine because like I say, I don't believe that it's bad conditions, but I still think I'm going to get a nice couple of shots as well here. It's just a bit awkward. You know, you've got to make sure that you keep your uh, lens covered and then take it off as you need it. And then obviously, you know, I, I'll probably lose a couple of shots because the water drops. That's fine. You know, I take a mul multitude of shots, so I'll be able to pull it together, I imagine, in post. It's a very, very interesting uh, spot, like I would have said, but this rain now is in to stay, so there's going to be nothing here for uh, sunset. So I think this is probably going to be a very quick episode of my vlog. It's a location that I've tried to come to twice, and both times rain has uh, won the battle, but that's fine. You know what, like I say, I can come back again another time and it's something that I'm looking forward to, which will make it really bittersweet when I do come because I'll get nice light and everything else in the distance that's there. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very much, as always, for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, shalom.